In the last video, we saw the importance of brackets in mathematical expressions. And in this video, we'll solve some problems related to brackets only. So the question says that, write the expressions for each of the following. These A, B and C are some statements. You can say it mathematical statements. And you have to write mathematical expressions for each of these statements. That is, mathematical expressions means that an expression having numbers and the mentioned operations between them. Operation could be addition or operation could be subtraction, division or multiplication depending upon the question. So let's jump straight to the first one. That is the first one says that the first one is 4 multiplied by sum of 7 and 9. That is, you have to add first 7 and 9, whatever value you will get from this addition, you will multiply it by 4. You have to multiply this value by 4. Therefore, the mathematical expression for this statement would be 4 multiplied by, multiplied by sum of 7 and 9, that is 7 plus 9. Now, you can also write it like this, 7 plus 9 multiplied by 4. Both these two expressions are same, no difference. It's just like whether you write it 2 multiplied by 4 or 4 multiplied by 2. You know that this will also give you 8 and this will also give you 8. So these two expressions are same. Now what if someone says that I would not put any bracket, how would it make any difference? Someone may argue that okay I have I have three numbers that is 7, 9 and 4 okay I have two operations one is addition and one is multiplication okay so how a bracket would make a difference I would simply write it like this 7 plus 9 multiplied by 4 it would make a difference let's see how so this expression is incomplete because it doesn't mention it doesn't mention which operation you would perform first first like in this in these two cases this both the cases are equal but in both these two cases you first perform addition that was within the bracket and then you perform multiplication but what in this case which operation you would perform first this since there is no bracket therefore you don't know which op operation you would perform first now the second case what if someone says that I would change the position of this bracket instead of using this bracket with 7 and 9 I would use it like this 4 multiplied by 7 plus 9 and the person would say that I would use it like this and another person comes and say that for this expression for this one I would use the bracket like this one 7 plus 9 multiplied by 4 and he or she would say that instead of using the bracket for 7 and 9 I would use it for 9 and 4 how would it make the difference it would make the difference solve them solve them and you'll get three complete and different uh, answers for this one first solve for this one what would be the answer so this these two expressions are same therefore the answers after solving these expressions would also be same so solve this this is 7 plus 9 7 plus 9 is 16 multiplied by 4 this would come 64 solve for this one what would be the answer for this one so this is 7 plus 9 multiplied by 4 this would be 36 and 36 plus 7 is 43 solve for this one 7 multiplied by 4 would be 28 and plus 9 this would come 28 plus 9 would be 37 now notice this is 39 sorry this would be 37 
I'm sorry. This would be this would be 37. Okay, so this one is 37. This one is 43. And this one is 64. Three different answers. Three completely different answers because of the change in the position of brackets. Okay, so you, you, you just saw what's the importance of bracket. Okay, now let's jump for the second one that is a B one. B says that B says that divide the difference of 18 and 6 the difference of 18 and 6 by 4 by 4 that is you have to divide this difference of 18 and 6 by 4 that is first you have to find 18 difference of 18 and 6 whatever value you would get you have to divide this value by 4 what would be the mathematical expression for this so mathematical expression for this would be 18 minus 6 that is a difference of 18 and 6 divided by 4 now note one thing you cannot you cannot write it like this one 4 divided by 18 minus 6 like you saw it here in this case you did this that is you interchange the position of the bracket one with the 4 and you the, you got the same answer and you saw it like if you multiply 2 by 4 you'll get the 8 or you multiply 4 by 2 you'll get 8 but in this case you have you have division okay you have an operation called division it's just like saying like okay so i divide 4 by 2 and i divide 2 by 4 would i get the same answer no i will not get the same answer in this case i would get 2 and in this case i would get 0.5 so you cannot write it like this this these two expressions are entirely different this is different expression and this one is different expression so you will not write it like this okay so 18 minus 6 divided by 4 what if someone says that i will not use any bracket i have three numbers i have 18 i have 6 i have 4 i have two operations i have minus i have division i will not use bracket how it would make a difference so 18 minus 6 divided by 4 now there is a problem which operation you would perform first as you saw in the a in the statement a here also it was not clear which operation you would perform first similarly here which operation you would perform first whether you perform division or you would perform subtraction okay so you cannot write it like it like this you have to use a bracket what if someone says that okay let me change the position of a bracket how would it make a difference so instead of writing writing it like this someone says that okay let me write it like this one 18 minus within brackets and 4 would it make any difference yes it would make difference in this case you first you 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 first had to find a difference of 18 and 6 and then you had to divide it by 4 here you, you are first finding the value of this division and then you will subtract it by 18 okay so you can see that these both value will come different like here in this case it would be for this one it would be 12 divided by 4 and in this case it would be 18 minus and you have to divide this one so if you are going to divide 6 by 4 it will be 4 2 you add it here and 4 5 20 so this gone and the answer would be 1.5 now this is 4, 12 divided by 4 and here it is 18 
minus 1.5 of course it would come this would be 16.5 and this would be 3 so you saw you can see this this is a different value and this is a different value just because of changing the position of bracket now let's go for the third one that is c c says that multiply 2 multiply 2 by 8 times 8 times the value of 8 divided by 4 the value of 8 divided by 4 8 times of it and you have to multiply that value by 2 okay so first concentrate on this one the value of 8 divided by 4 the value of 8 divided by 4 so this would be 8 divided by 4 okay 8 times of this now 8 times means that you have to multiply this by 8 okay so you first you first will you will first find a value of 8 divided by 4 and whatever value you will get this you will make it 8 times that is you will multiply it by 8 so therefore this one okay now you will multiply this one you will multiply this whole value by 2 okay you will multiply by 2 so to write this you will write it like this 2 multiplied by put this curly brackets okay put this curly brackets it would be 8 multiplied by 8 4 and close this bracket okay so it was multiplied 2 by 8 times the value of 8 divided by 4 so first you you'll find 8 divided by 4 you'll put it in a bracket now 8 times of it that is will multiply by 8 now you have to multiply this whole value by 2 so therefore you'll use this curly bracket here okay that is 2 multiplied by 8 this is 8 times 8 divided by 4 or even you can simply if you don't if you don't want to use this curly bracket you can simply use like this one also 8 multiplied by 8 divided by 4 and this this bracket is for this one and this bracket is for this one okay so break bracket so either you can write it like this or you can write it like this these both are equal i hope that now the concept of uh, using bracket would be uh, much clear clearer to you and in the next videos uh, we'll we'll solve some other problems related to brackets and the mathematical expressions